Hello, and welcome to this video on Synchronous, the timed effect modulator rack extension from Propellerhead Software. Today we'll take a look at the different ways of using it for both creative sound design purposes, as well as to clean up a mix in the end. So let's not waste any time and get straight to it. I've been working on the basis of a song here. So far I have a simple pad with some movement, some basic drums, as well as a bass line. They all sound alright, but for my taste, the pad is not interesting enough. Let's try to change this by adding an instance of Synchronous. Synchronous is divided into two main sections. In the upper section, on the display of the device, we can draw modulation curves that can then be used to affect either one of the effects in Synchronous. These can be found in the lower section. Or they can be used to modulate something else altogether. For now, let's stick to the onboard effects. I'll set up a loop and play back my pad. I think it could use some filtering, so we'll activate the filter section in Synchronous and set it to low pass mode. We'll use the frequency dial to remove some of the high frequencies in order to get the sound to sit where we want. Much better. Now it's time for modulation. Synchronous offers a variety of modulation curves that can be drawn into its internal sequencer. I'll demonstrate by selecting the sine wave at a resolution of 1 8th. Now, as we click and drag the mouse, we can see our sine wave appear. As we play back the song, however, nothing happens. Even though we can see that the sequencer is running by looking at the little yellow indicator at the top, we're not hearing any modulation, because we haven't yet assigned any parameter to our curve. Let's try to have it modulate the filter cutoff frequency. We can do that by using the modulation control dial just above the frequency dial. As we apply some modulation, we can instantly hear the effect and our pad has become much more interesting. However, straight eighth notes get boring after a while, so let's use a slower sign in the later half of our pattern, so that we have some variation. Alright, I'm happy with that. Of course, the built-in effects are also perfectly fine without modulation, and this sound is a bit dry, so we'll use the onboard reverb in Synchronous to give the sound some space and some depth. Another feature of Synchronous is the ability to send and receive CV signals. This means that we can use the curves to modulate much more than just Synchronous itself. We'll flip the rack around and connect the CV output of curve 1 to our rack extension's CV input. In the synth's modulation matrix we can now select CV input 1 as a source of our modulation, so let's apply a tiny amount to the pad's pitch. It sounds a bit weird at first, but I like it, so let's keep it in there. Keep in mind that if we change the curve now, so will the filter and pitch patterns in both Synchronous and our Antidote synth. Let's hear it with the rest of the track. Okay, our track is starting to sound good. To finish it up, we'll use Synchronous to make the mix sound a bit bigger and to give our kick drum some space. In order to do so, I'll bus our instruments together and insert an instance of Synchronous on the bus. By doing this, we can use Synchronous to automate the level, similar to sidechaining with a compressor. Synchronous comes with a ton of useful presets that fit applications like this, so let's load up the long sidechain patch. It's too fast for our song, because this song tempo is very high, but by adjusting the playback speed to half, 0.5, we can take care of that. Finally, I'll change the modulation amount so that the effect is a little bit more subtle. Synchronous is great for creating unique, interesting sounds, but it can also act as a quick and easy mixing helper, making it possible to set up quick sidechaining and ducking effects. <laughs> 